All right, so I got some wild game here. I believe this is one of the uh, one of the legs, and we got the skull here. And I already had some of the cheek meat, which was great. But I think that I'm gonna tear into this tongue and see what that tastes like. Because anybody that knows anything knows that tongues have a lot of meat on them. It's like just a pure, pure muscle. Yeah, we'll, we'll try this tongue and then we might crack open the skull and see if the brains haven't been completely damaged. The, uh, there is a entrance wound right there from a BB. So they might be mixed up a little bit, but they might be alright. So we'll take this tongue. I'll just pull it out. Uh, show it all back. I can get it. This is really hard to videotape with one hand. I need a. Uh, I need a photographer. Look at that tongue. Yep. So this is all. All mostly muscle. There's a little bit of, a little bit of chewy stuff, but nothing crazy. I'm just gonna feel out the cartilage. I don't like chewing on cartilage too much. But yeah, the rest of that. Pure muscle. Yep. Tastes like food. And I'm going to be keeping this skull after I eat all the meat off of it. There's the cartilage off the roof of the mouth. And I'll give it to my puppers. She likes it when I cook. She gets some good stuff. Here's some more cheek meat. Nom, 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 nom. A lot of muscle on this guy. This is all cheek meat. And this is some really dark meat. And it tastes exactly like roast beef. Which I was kind of surprised. I figured it'd be a little lighter than this, but it's really dark big old chunk of meat nom 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 <laughs> right piece of cheek meat So this skull is cleaning up pretty good. Just gotta get all the good meat off of it.
Some of these little tidbits, I don't know what they are. But majority of the meat on here is very, very large and easy to get off. Plus, I slow cooked this for a few hours, so it's very well cooked. Here's a leg meat. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Big old chunk. Pretty great school. The teeth are probably an inch long total for the canines. And then I got some potatoes and onions. I'll give the dog some of the some of the scraps. Is that good stuff? Huh? Is that good stuff? Hmm. So I want to get in here without tearing up the skull. See the brain. I'm going to slowly, very easily take this lower jaw off. Burp. A little bit more meat. She doesn't know how to catch food. She'll just let it hit her damn face until it falls on the ground. I got some nice watermelon here. I don't like eating it when it's too cold. So I let it cool down or warm up the room temperature first. Well, I might have to crack into the skull to get the brain out. Normally there's little plates on the head that'll give way when it's cooked and you just lift it out like squirrels they're not too difficult to open up you just take the lower lower jaw and pull it back and usually that comes off with the rest of it well I'm gonna have to get some kind of fancy to get the brain out this is where the spinal cord attaches to the base of the skull. So that's where the uh, brain stem 
goes up into the cavity. This is kind of cool. On this, it's probably just from where all the meat sits, but there's a ridge that goes along the top of the skull that you usually don't see on animals, or that I've noticed. Hmm. Nom nom nom. I'm gonna clean it up real nice and good like and probably send it to my brother. Have some little artistic whatnot reference for tattoos. Well, he had a good little cavity on this tooth. It was chipped and broken off. That probably didn't feel good. Hmm. Yeah, I used salt and pepper, um, fresh rosemary and bay leaves out of my little little tiny garden by my fish pond and then got potatoes vidalia onions and garlic as well for seasoning so it came out pretty good Probably cooked a little too much in one container. And had to use three or four layers of the heavy duty industrial aluminum foil. But yep, got the job done. Hmm. I had to go get me some peanuts to try peanuts and coat. So I shelled a bunch of these dry salted peanuts and then bought some coke to try that out with. It was okay. Nothing ridiculous crazy. But I think that was the first time I've ever had it. What do you think? You just look stoked. There's a little cartilage. Burbunk. Big old nice chunks of meat. Look at that. That's just like straight. Straight roast beef. Hmm. I'm about full. I'm going to take a nap. Alright, see y'all later.